Welcome to today's training. Residents of nursing homes have rights that are guaranteed by the Federal Nursing Home Reform Law. The law requires nursing homes to promote and protect the rights of each resident and stresses individual dignity and self-determination. Many states also include residents' rights in state law or regulation in all long-term care settings, including domiciliary care homes, personal care homes, assisted living facilities, and nursing homes. During this training, residents who reside in Pennsylvania long-term care facilities are acting out their rights. These residents are part of our PEER program. PEER stands for Pennsylvania's Empowered Expert Residents. These residents have completed 10 hours of training on rights and other advocacy tools. Following each scene, the rights will be discussed. Let us begin. Okay, come on. Holy cow, it's so hot in here. Oh my goodness, how can you stand it? How can you breathe? Oh, oh my goodness gracious, good God. What are you doing? How do you expect anybody to come in your room and it's like the oven of Hades? Both my roommate and I like the temperature the way it is here. There's enough cold air coming in from the hallway. We, we're old. We like the heat this way. Well, I don't know how you expect me to come in here and care for you and do your care and do your needs when I'm so hot. I have a right to a comfortable temperature in my own room. Let's review the rights that we saw in that scene. The right to self-determination, the right to reasonable accommodation of personal preferences, the right to be treated with dignity and respect. Ronnie, I'm here to, to get you uh, washed up and into bed. It's only six o'clock and I didn't have supper yet. I have plans to even tell you and I wanted to go out. See? in the courtyard to read until that hard. I understand, but we're short-staffed and you're a total assist and it takes a long time. We'll find out if some of these other people like to go to bed early. Maybe one of those would do it and I'm being there the last. Well, I can guarantee it'll be done on this shift. You might have to wait for the third shift. I have a right to my own schedule. The right found in that video is the choice of schedule that meets the resident's preferences. Hey, Corey, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, let me give you some privacy. What can I help you with? Well, I was talking to my ombudsman yesterday and she we were talking about some issues I was having and she said that I could have a care plan that would match the problems I'm having. And I would like to schedule one. Well, here, I think she might be confused because we only do care plan meetings every quarter or if you have a significant change. Well, I'm having multiple issues with multiple departments and I would like to have the care plan reflect that. Well, I, I don't know how other homes do it, but here we really only do those quarterly care plans or like I said, if there's a significant change. Well, the care plan I currently have is just a general one and I want a specific care plan specific to me. It is my right to have a care plan that's individualized for me and to be able to access that care plan whenever I need to. The right to participate in developing and implementing a person-centered plan of care that incorporates personal and cultural preferences, as well as access to personal and medical records. from activities. Can I come in? I'm here to take you to the group sing along in the lounge. Oh my, I thank you very much, but I just as soon do my own independent activities. Well, your daughter called and she wants you to go down to the activities that we have. And right now we're doing the sing along. Oh well, I like to read and watch my TV watch my programs in the afternoon, so I'm sorry. Well, 
My boss said that I have to listen to your daughter, and she's your power of attorney. So come on, let's just go try it. Oh, gee. I have the right to choose my own activities. In this scene, the resident is sharing her choice of activities. It is important to always ask and follow the resident's preferences. All right, I'll be in with your mail next. Come in. Hey, Donnie, how are you? Good, and you? Oh, good, mail call. Here you go. And oh, great, I've been package. waiting for this package. All right, it's always good to get a package. Great, thanks. Wait, why is my package open? Well, here's the deal. One of the residents was ordering something online that they weren't supposed to. Now we have to open everybody's mail just to make sure that they're allowed to have what's in the box. Well, I think it's terrible that all other residents are being punished due to one resident. Well, gotta do what the boss says. I have the right to receive my mail and packages unopened. In this scene, the resident has the right to receive mail and packages that are unopened. Come in. Hi. Hi, Audrey. How are you? Oh, hi. Thanks for coming down to my room. Yeah, I have a few questions and concerns. And I did bring these up at both resident council and food council meetings. Okay. But I didn't hear anything back from you. Oh, okay. Can you refresh my memory as to what the concern was? It was regarding the food choices. Okay. I've been here three years, and the, the alternate menu has not changed a bit. It only has three choices, and they're all unhealthy choices. Okay. I'd like to have, I would like to lose some weight, so could we have a little more variety? Okay. Now, I vaguely remember that conversation, and I did investigate that with the corporate office. And unfortunately, they're unwilling to work with me, and I can't get any fresh options on the menu at this time. They said because the price of food is rising. So I'm sorry. This is causing me to have to order salads from the downtown restaurant. I can't afford to do that. Can't we have, can't we have some healthy choices put onto the alternate menu? or even the regular menu, even the regular menu. Well, I'm sorry, but it's just not in the cards right now. Hopefully my budget can get increased, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. So I'm sorry. I have the right to healthy choices and a variety of foods. In this scene, the facility must provide each resident with a nourishing, well-balanced diet that meets his or her daily nutritional and special dietary needs. The facility also must take into consideration the preferences of each resident. Hey Ronnie, your daughter Mary's here to visit you. I'm sorry, I'm not up to a visit because she upset me so much the last time she was here. I would rather not have her. Come. Yeah, well, she's already here, and I don't really want to tell her that, so I'm going to go get her and bring her back anyway. I already told you I don't want to see her. She helps to speak much, and I have a right to refuse visitors or telephone calls. Residents have the right to visitors of his or her choosing at any time and the right to refuse visitors. There's not much to do here. How about you in your area? Yes, I am. We're over the weekend. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Can I help you? Picking up the Excuse garbage. me. Please come back up. later. Pick I have my door garbage. closed. You didn't even wait for a response from me. I have a right to privacy. 
The resident has the right to be treated with consideration, respect, and dignity, recognizing each resident's individuality. Hi, I'm here to welcome you to the facility. Oh, that's nice. While I'm here, I wanted to let you know that um, residents aren't permitted to hang things on the walls. Pictures that were on the walls when you moved in are the ones that we want to keep on the walls only. We want to keep a streamlined look. Oh, gee, I uh, wanted to put up some pictures of my family. I had these at home, and I thought it would make more like a home-like uh, environment in here for me. I thought that nursing homes really supported residents in having rooms made so it feels like home. Well, I understand, but these are the house rules, and we want to keep a streamlined look and keep just that up as our decor. Oh, well, I am disappointed. I wanted, I've had a tough time adjusting here, and I really love my family, and I really would like to have pictures of them up, so I don't know, I miss them very much. I'll tell you, a resident I think has a right to a home-like environment. A resident has the right to a home-like environment and use of personal belongings. Hey, Corey. Yes. Hey, third park me for a minute. Sure. How can I help you? Oh, gosh. Well, uh, I'd like to review my um, medication list. I'm uh, having some issues, and uh, reviewing my medication list would be a place to start. Uh, uh, well, you know we're really short-staffed. It's been a crazy week. We really don't have time for that right now. I, and really, I mean, don't you trust your doctor? He knows what to do. He's the expert. And really, he has the final say anyway. Well, I'm having issues. I think I'm being over-medicated. And I would like to review my medical, my medical records, my medication list. Well, I, to be honest, I'm not even sure that our home allows that. I mean, I'll have to check with administration and see if that's something they even allow you to look at. Um, you know, and right, to be honest, it's not going to be this week anyway. We're just too busy. Well, I, I, I understand if you're short staffed, but this is something I really want to do. Well, let me look into it. I'll let you know, but it can't be this week. It is my right. To review my medical records and to have my medical problems explained to me correctly. In this final scene, the resident has the right to view her personal and medical records and to be informed of any changes to the plan of care or in medical or health status.